Okay, boys and girls, sports fan, Den here. I'm in Silicon Valley with a very important company, Alert Enterprise. If you've never heard of them, I'm not surprised. Why would you? They do security stuff. They save lives. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay. And I'm with Pan Kamal. I spelt, spelt I pronounced that correctly, didn't I? Correct. Okay, I need to get my teeth in right, okay? <laughs> now, you're part of the SAP HANA um, startup focus group as far as SAP is concerned, and you've been involved with um, SAP on, on the HANA development for the solution that you've got. Just talk about the the solution for the moment. What problem is it that you've been trying sure. to, to solve? So post 9-11, there's been a lot of emphasis about protecting um, chemical plants, oil and gas facilities, mm -hmm. uh, pipelines, mass transportation, airports, etc. from basically from terrorist attack, from insiders that have malicious intent. Um, and most of these large installations can uh, typically, with an, uh, an incident, can blow up into a fairly spectacular event. Mm. We want to avoid those. We want to eliminate the threats that would um, uh, cause an inc incident like that to happen. And it's very unfortunate to have to look at some of these incidents and try and figure out after the fact what could have been done to avoid them. Right. What Alert Enterprise does is correlates the threats across all of these different areas, the threats from people, process, and technology all combined together. So it isn't just people that can go wrong, there are other things that can go wrong uh, as well. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So, so the fundamental part really is, if you look at any security area, like a control room that might operate uh, a pipeline, mm -hmm. uh, a security operation center for utility, most of these security areas, you want to monitor the identity of mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. that's actually going into these areas, then what critical assets can they touch once they get in there? Mm. As in, can they operate, you know, turn off the dispatch of power to the grid, et cetera? And the third piece of information, uh, uh, third element is the information that they're trying to access. Mm. So it's the identity, the critical assets, mm. and the information. And to get the most comprehensive view of risk, you really need all of those three elements mm. to do the risk analysis of all three. And, and in the past, you've tended uh, as a not you, but you as an industry have tended to have had to react, as in, you know, you were saying the homicide detective turning up after the event is kind of a little bit late, isn't it, right? Um, whereas the technology that you're looking to deploy at the moment, it um, sat kind of changes that rather significantly. That's is that correct? Yeah. Some of our utility customers, uh, in the middle of the night, an operator or, or contractor or worker goes into a remote substation location hmm. and they swipe their badge to go into that substation location. Our software picks up that badge swipe because we connect into the badging system and we go into an SAP HR system and see is this person still employed at this organization hmm. or they pick up somebody's lost or stolen badge. Right. We'll go into a workforce management system and say is there a work order or a trouble ticket that's asking this maintenance person to be there at 12 hmm. o'clock at night on midnight when their normal shift hours are nine to five, Monday through Friday, or is this guy showing up to do some mischief? Mm. And then finally, we'll analyze sort of the time of entry and see within the 10 or 15 minutes from this person entered or 20 minutes, whatever the policy is, did somebody try and shut off electrical, you know, high voltage electrical equipment? So we've got HANA operating at the back end or underneath, however, um, in real time with, with these systems de deriving benefit. What's going to be the next step from your standpoint? What do you think might be the, the next move in this regard? So, so the whole aspect of why HANA provides value in this type of scenario is really the fact that the predictive part of the risk analytics. So in order to come up with answers in split seconds as to whether or not there's a potential bad event occurring, mm -hmm. that calculation, that computation needs to occur really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And traditional computing models are not able to do that very effectively. Mm -hmm. With SAP HANA, the answer could be derived in split seconds, and it makes a difference between being able to interdict and um, you know, stop an incident from occurring versus finding out after the fact. Okay. What difference is this making to your business in terms of your ability to, to sell the, the solution that you're having? So uh, definitely in the federal intelligence uh, transportation space, um, you know, there's huge value in being able to do that. Mm. 
uh, it makes our solution all the more appealing uh, to the end customers and um, definitely makes it more viable. Well, that's what we want to hear. That's yeah. what it's all about, isn't it? At the end of the day. <laughs> Okay, Pan, thank you very much indeed for your story. That's excellent. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot.